Hi, my name is Jeff Fenton with Meticulous Marketing, and I'm going to do a quick demo video today on our project management interface for the clients that I work with, specifically in regards to building a new website and how the interface works and how that benefits us for communication. I'm starting off at our homepage here at meticulousmarketing.com, and just a couple of things to notice on the home page. Down here, if you see that the little online icon is on there, that means that I am currently available for chat. If you have any questions, just go down to the bottom of the page, click on this, put in your name and email address. Uh, again, it just keeps a log of our communication that it can email to you. Uh, we don't collect that information or spam in any way, of course. Also, up here under the home button, view our live feed if this is during office hours. Our live feed is streamed in here uh, so that you can see, hello, um, so that you can see me, the office, what's going on, and whether or not we are in and or about. Okay, so back to the home page here. And what I want to talk to you about next is uh, to log into the client interface. So if you are a client, you would go up to clients and then go down to client login. Okay, from there you would put in your email address. And again, here you still have the, uh, the chat options if that's something that you at, at any point would benefit from, go for it. Okay, I've set up a demo account here under one of my clients. All right. And log in. Okay, so this is on the client side of the site and the main purpose of this is communication, to communicate between myself and my client both during the span of their website build but also thereafter. But what I'm going to show you today is specifically in regards to the website build. Um, so this is the client information here. Again, put in a, a blank address and a dummy email uh, to protect their privacy. But other than that, all this is real and this is all visible within the client area. So we have a bunch of support tickets that are open. Again, I'm the only one they're communicating with. The value of the support tickets is it keeps, um, it keeps a log of, of the communication. So we don't end up with just hundreds of emails where things get lost. It keeps a linear track of communications. And also it's something that can be referenced later on by either the client or myself. If say I provide some information about how to log into their webmail, you know, if they forget what I said a week later, they already deleted that email, they come back here, they can see the same instructions are still there. I don't have to say the same thing 10 times. They know where to find the information. Again, I am also always available just a phone call away. All this communication is taking place between me and the client. It's not other people. So there's a very personal touch to this all. It just provides information in a way where I feel it's just the most valuable to the client and assists me as well. So um, what we want to do here now, it's got a bunch of different things we could do. Probably will do more videos on what these different features of this client login area are. But what I want to draw your attention to today is specifically the project management interface. So under services, you go up to services and it says my services and my projects. And what I want you to do is click on my projects. Okay, so for carrying resources, which is the client that I am doing this demonstration with, there are uh, two projects specified within this. The first one is a website rebuild, uh, which is still in progress. And the second one is website administration. Now the website administration won't actually start taking place until the website build is done. So typically I give a flat fee uh, plus expenses for a website build or a website rebuild, which is the case here. And then I typically bill hourly for website administration unless someone buys some sort of a maintenance package. So 
as you can see with the website administration, the status is awaiting. That means it's not current. It hasn't started yet. If you clicked on view details, there's no details to view. This will start once the, the website rebuild is completed. Okay. So for the website rebuild, estimated at 120 hours, just to kind of give you an idea of what my thoughts were in regards to how much time this would take when I bid this job, then you click on view details. And it takes you to a page that has everything that's needed for communicating in regards to this website. Um, all of the associated tickets, uh, communicating different aspects of the work with the client uh, can be referenced through here. All of the invoices can be referenced through here as well um, to see uh, anything. So for example, um, there's an invoice here and um, they can download a PDF, it emails them PDFs, um, and they can uh, even pay the, uh, any invoices directly through here. So just as an example, here's, a, and here's an invoice um, that will be uh, for when the site's all done. It's not due yet, but um, you can pay directly through um, PayPal. So you can click on PayPal, And it will take you right to your account and you can log in and boom, it's paid. Um, you can also mail in a check or um, you know, pay however you like. So there's a bunch of different uh, convenient options there. So, um, okay, now one of the, um, the real point of this is to communicate what's been done and what needs to be done. Everyone thinks they hand a pile of money to somebody to build them a website and walk away, but the reality is, if I'm telling your company's story, I need to know your company's story. So there's a lot of collaboration and communication that's required in order to really do this right. Uh, some companies just build the site structure, put it online, say, you fill in the blanks, I'm out of here. I don't do that. I, uh, I, s I view myself more as a liaison between the company and both technology and the consumer. So I try to advise them on the technology and also help them communicate their message. But still, the bulk of that information has to somehow come from them. Now, that can come a number of different ways depending on you know what the, what the client is interested in and what price point I bid the project at. Um, you know, we can, uh, I can do interviews over the phone and record it and go back and, you know, type content articles uh, about the company. Or in this case, the client can write the content themselves and tell their story largely because this company is actually writers. So um, some people want to also have the granular level of control over what's said about their company. So it all depends on what that specific client's needs are and what they're interested in and what they're willing to pay for as far as how we proceed about this. But regardless, there needs to be communication between myself and the client continually throughout the course of the project for it to get completed. So on here, it tells the client exactly, you know, what's done. This is done. This is done. Okay, this isn't done. We need this. We need to, you know, hope promotional videos. Uh, okay, so and you can skip down and and it shows and 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 I try to really be clear about what our client responsibilities and everything else everything else is stuff I need to do at different phases of this so um, it just uh, and that's just to help the client keep in perspective too that even though their their website may look flashy maybe even though it looks like it's done there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes that still needs to take place you know um, you know getting an SSL uh, you know modifying the code to work with that installing it uh, you know just there's a lot of details um, to building a website and to doing it to where it's done well and looks professional so Again, this is a, a way of articulating and communicating where I'm at, what needs to be done, and what I need from the client in order to make this thing happen. Now, one of the neat benefits of this also is there's a total time here. You see, I've spent 97 hours so far out of my estimated 120, so I'm probably going to go way over 120, sadly, on this. 
but that's that's my tough luck at that point. If I'm doing a flat fee website build, then I don't charge you more when I go over on time. I merely track the time as a benchmark for myself to know and for bidding in the future and to communicate to the client what I'm doing and what I'm spending time on. Now, if there are additional things that have been added to the scope of work that were not included in the original estimate or the original bid, then of course that would cost extra. But as long as we stay within the project scope of what was initially bid, the client really doesn't have to worry about this number. It just communicates to them to what I'm doing. A benefit I like about this too is under the time tracking section, if you click on the link that says show high detailed time logs, then the entire time section per category or per task will expand and show you each and every time that I have uh, logged in and worked on your website, which communicates to my clients where am I spending time? When am I working on the site? You know, if you go away and you don't talk to me for two weeks, am I working on it? Have I just, am I working on other projects? It shows you exactly when I'm working on your site. So you can go line by line through here and see what's happening and when, you know. So, um, and again, it just, it's for accountability. It's for communication. It is just uh, so you know what's happening with your website. This is also a place where you know we can communicate uh, uh, customizations. We can attach files. Um, and again, any tickets that are associated with this. Let me pick one good one for an example here. Okay, this is uh, this just is in regards to um, titles and descriptions for the videos. So it uh, it tells the client where the YouTube channel is that I set up for them, as well as um, as well as what information is needed. And it tells the status of this is waiting on client. That means nothing else is going to happen on this this particular issue until the client takes action. So again, um, I don't try to rush my client. I don't try to pressure them, but I try to communicate with them whose court the ball is in so that they know what's holding us up. So again, this is uh, just a tool, and uh, but I think it's a very helpful tool uh, to communicate to, to my clients what, where we're at in the website build process. And here's another one that I do that, that uh, I think is very worthwhile I do on every project, but it's uh, receipts for reimbursable expenses. So I don't um, tell my clients, you know, I, I will I will bill any reimbursable expenses. Basically, if it comes out of my pocket and it's for your benefit, you have to pay me back. That's the way it works. So I am basically a technical consultant and again, a liaison for my client. Um, I try to give them the best information that I can about anticipated expenses. But, um, but again, if, if, you know, you can have anything you want in the world as long as you're willing to pay for it. You know, if I pay for it for you, then you have to pay me back. So I don't just tell my clients, you know, I paid a hundred dollars for this. You owe me a hundred dollars. You know, there's just no accountability in that. And people could say whatever they wanted to say as far as cost. I don't do that. I will show you um, this is what I paid. This was the receipt that I paid for. I bought this for your company. Um, you know, here's where it came out of my PayPal account or off my credit card. And, uh, and that's what you need to pay for. So um, again, it's just, uh, it's just proof, you know, proof of whatever I'm spending on your behalf so that um, you can be comfortable that you're not getting ripped off and that what's, you know, I'm charging you is real. Um, $214 I paid um, and here's where it came out of my PayPal account for your company. So again, it's, uh, it's just a tool, but I think it's a very helpful tool. So again, that's under services and my projects and uh, and then go to the project title and click view details. Now this particular project was started quite a while ago and um, is due soon. Um, it's probably that due date will end up getting pushed out a little more but again that's not um, not my fault. It's uh, This was expected to be a 60-day project when we started it. Um, however again I'm waiting on the client for a lot of information and there's just been a lot more moving parts than we initially had thought. The, we've gotten into a lot of other um, areas uh, 
of, of just content gathering, which can be a challenge as well um, to where that, that dates got pushed. So anyways, um, I hope this has been helpful. I hope that it uh, lets you know a little bit about what's going on behind the scenes and how to interact and communicate with me about a job project. And again, just make the most of this collaboration to create the best site possible for, for your company. So again, my name is Jeff Fenton, and this is with Meticulous Marketing, meticulousmarketing.com. I thank you for your time, and good luck in your web project.